and she just goes on and on and on and then she's like dangerously in love i just it just yeah hey i'm zara larson and i am obsessed with beyonce i started standing beyonce when i saw destiny's child and i was just completely blown away I was obsessed and that was kind of like be ex exactly before the time B-Day was released. So when she dropped that album, I was just like, oh my gosh, I ran to the store. That was like one of the first CDs that I got. So I think like eight or nine was when I just, wow. Cause I've always loved women with big voices. Christina Aguilera, Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, like those were my heroes growing up. But then Beyonce also brought that extra like dance like show bit and she just gave it her all in in all of those categories so i was just blown away my favorite beyonce songs that is so hard i think it kind of changes all the time for me um i mean when i think about my favorite songs i also think about you know beyonce to me is very much like a performer right so uh i love her videos but I really, really love to go and like search for live performance, like Beyonce um, countdown, like live or even single lady. So like when she does live, nobody does it like Beyonce live. So I just feel like she undangerously in love when she does this like, and she just goes on and on and on and then she's like, I just, it just, yeah. I, I, th I think I just really enjoy watching that live. Her music videos, she has so many. And I think one of my favorite music videos of Beyonce, I mean, I do really love Single Ladies. It is an iconic video. I love Formation. Like, I remember when I first saw that one, I was in the studio in LA and I was recording and she dropped it like, hey, surprise, uh, happy Black History Month. And I was just like, I, like, I had to call my manager. I had to like step out from the studio moment. I had to like collect myself and um, kind of also changes depending on the mood, but single ladies, it is iconic and no one can say, say anything about that. Well, you know, I started really, really idolizing Beyonce way before she got herself into being political or whatever. I think her being a, you know, bestseller, chart-topping woman is kind of political in a way, and especially like a black woman. Uh, just her existence, the platform she creates for other people and what she does and how she does it. But of course, after... Uh, lemonade it, it was just different like she took us on a completely different journey in a way like she felt more personal too and uh, I think after that I just started liking her even more because I felt like I just got to see a part of her um, to get like a personal part of her but also she did something bigger than just like her songs and her music. But I've always loved her, but I love that she was like, you know what, I will just expand like what I will do. And I think it affected a lot of people in a very positive way. I have met her once and uh, it was after her show in Stockholm. It was the 29th of May, 2013, I think. <laughs> and uh, she had just played her Mrs. Carter World Tour. And it was, that was, this was before, this was before she did Stadium. So it was an arena and I was in the very, very, very front. And um, I had already emailed like Sony six months in advance. And I was like, hey, Beyonce is coming to my hometown. I would really much like to see her if you can make this happen. Like I was planning it all out. And uh, they was like, sure, uh, we can fix that for you. So I also had a migraine because I think I was super nervous and tense the days before. And then, you know, it was the day of and I was just like, <sighs> so I got the biggest migraine. I thought I couldn't even make it in the beginning of the day. And I had to take like super strong painkillers. I was like, not anything is going to make me miss this. So I went there and I think I got my adrenaline back up because I was just crying. 
like the whole show. And she looked at me, at least that's what I think. And she like, haha, you know, she thanked me for a few seconds and then she went on to the other people. Uh, and then afterwards I got backstage and she was already in a room, but I thought I was gonna go in there and wait for her. So I was not prepared that she was gonna be there. And I fell to the floor and I was sobbing so much. The energy was that I, I was a fan. Like I had just been at her show and now she's like in front of me. And I've also seen all these videos and songs and it just didn't make sense to me that she was like a real person and I could not take it in. And even telling you this, it's like, do I really remember this? Or have I just told the story so many times that my brain has started to create like memories? You know, when people tell you about your childhood and you're like, did this happen or, you know what I mean? But I remember falling to the floor and after I picked myself up, I was just like, I love you so much. I can't believe I'm standing here in front of you. I do talk a lot as a person. So I said a lot of things and uh, she was so nice. She was so humble and sweet and she was talking like, oh, it, it wasn't that, it was like a five minutes, you know, tops, but she, took her time to really like acknowledge me and I just feel like that represents her as a person so well you know they say don't be your idols but I loved her even more walking home from that night I really did